Yo, what's up everybody? How's it going? Today we're playing MG Mod, which is made by Dr. Teaspoon, and we're using it for Legends of Dota. Because I've been wanting to do a little friends build for a little while. Little friends is Enchantress's Aghanim's Scepter? Yes, Aghanim's Scepter. It was the shard at first and now it's become the Scepter. And it's an ability that makes it so that in a pretty large AoE, all creeps rush at an opponent and attack that opponent with increased attack speed and that opponent also gets rooted for every creep that's nearby. It's a very funny ability. It's not good, but it is funny and I think that has some value. So I hope you guys enjoy it and let's get right into the game. Okay, so we got ourselves Enchantress. Enchantress, of course, has little friends, and that's going to be the main goal of the build. We have a few summons. So we have Vampiric Spirit, and we have a Summon Wolves. Those are going to be our only summons. I could have, of course, slapped the entire build full of summons, but I think just a few is fine, because I do want to use the lane creeps and the jungle creeps. That's kind of like how I see it. Like, that's, that's what we should be doing, right? Our little friends, after all. Uh, but then we have a bunch of stuff to make them more powerful. We have Penitence that gives bonus attack speed. We have Swiftness Aura that gives bonus attack speed. Uh -huh. And we have Pack Leader's Aura that gives bonus damage. We went for Swiftness Aura over the Beastmaster Aura for the sake of skill points. Uh, yeah, Beastmaster's Aura would definitely have been better, but we don't have enough skill points for it. And this one only needs one skill point, and it's better than like Beastmaster's Aura with that single skill point. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of the... Kind of the restrictions we have to work with. Our talents are really strong. So we want a lot of fast levels. I think that's actually where we are going to be at our most powerful. That's how we like get the most done. Because uh, we have a bunch of sick talents for spawning skeletons. I found a, I found a talent that I don't know if it's going to work. But plus 80% skeletons spawned. I'm not sure if that's going to work with the plus 6 minimum. But that would be kind of sick. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, potentially gonna be swarming the map a bit with skeletons, we'll see. I'm holding back right now because I want to get to level 2 before I start using anything. Uh, because uh, then we can, of course, just kind of, uh, you know, enhance our power a little bit with the pack leader's aura. Which is actually like a pretty massive increase. Like, do not underestimate the pack leader's aura. Alright, great. No, we're good. We're good. Just chilling. Um, perfect. Let's go. <laughs> go get him, friends. <laughs> that only worked because there were so many ranged creeps stacked up. So our opponents definitely should have done a better job micromanaging those. But hey, I'm not going to complain. That's a kill, right? Fantastic. So let's go ahead and grab ourselves the swiftness aura just so we have that as well. And then we're going to continue working on our... Um, on our Hand of Midas here. That's like, oh my god, did you pull? As in, go into the jungle where there are more... Did you stack? <laughs> Our opponents are really just making it easy. <laughs> oh, that is very funny. I mean, Little Friends does actually not actually have that much of a cooldown. Just a bit... Oh my god! Oh my god, friends. They are not having a good time. I very much appreciate this stack, by the way. This is this has been fantastic. It's made my life just so unbelievably easy. <laughs> Our opponent's really the true MEPs here. So, uh, let's get ourselves... I think I'm going to go ahead and get more of my uh, penitence. And uh, we'll get the other stuff later. Alright, we'll get the other stuff as we go through the game. That's fine. I think Penitence is probably just going to be a little bit more power right now. Because it's a lot of attack speed on a single target, right? Now, uh, this right here lasts up to 6 seconds, which is actually quite long. But well, right now, there are no creeps, so we can't really use it. Well, we could use it, but it wouldn't really do anything. Uh, but we want to go ahead and get ourselves some stuff to make our creeps even more powerful, right? Like Helm of the Overlord seems great. Oh my god, come here. Yes. Come on, little friends. Come on, little friends. <laughs> the radius is huge. I mean, at this point, I'm just very far ahead. So that's going to happen. All right, let's get ourselves more penitence. Got that maxed out. I'm out of mana now, which is a problem. Oh, thank you. That helps. 
get that Helm of Iron Mill. Also, it's kind of funny that Sunrise keeps coming in and, and stealing the last hit. Headshot. Big power. Alright then. I mean, honestly, this, ab this ability was always going to be at its strongest in the early game. That was just always going to happen, so... Uh, I'm pretty glad we're getting a lot of value out of it. We're making a really nice... Did you stack again? Have you not learned your lesson? <laughs> oh, it wasn't enough. Wait, 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 wait. I'm getting this one. I'm getting it. Come on. Come on. Nice. <laughs> they are really doing this to themselves. They are, they are really doing this to themselves. Hello. Alright then. I'll go ahead and take this. What are you? Oh my god. Well, it doesn't really do any damage to this dude with flesh heat. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm just gonna kind of like stand here and attack and hope that that somehow does enough. Nice. I mean, we do have some powerful auras. Our attack damage is actually pretty good. And because of the vampiric, uh, vampiric spirit, we actually have a good amount of lifesteal. So that's convenient. Anyway. Pretty happy with how things are going right now. Pretty happy with it. And we're going to go for vampiric spirit as our first ability here that we, you know, like invest into with the talents and so on. Because I'm very curious to see if this 80% extra skeletons works with the plus 6 minimum skeleton spawn. I mean, that sounds great. Here I come. So we'll go ahead and just kind of keep pushing here. We've got a Helm of the Dominator now. Which is nice, because we can uh, just kind of get ourselves a, ske uh, like a skeleton summoner. <laughs> just actually kind of huge. <laughs> That's fantastic. So... I'll summon, I'll summon some skeletons myself as well. Why not? Hand of Midas here. So if anybody wants to come up here, we can now use this guy to spawn skeletons. And look at my army. Oh, wow. That's pretty good. I don't know if I care about this. I think right now I'm just going to max out Vampiric Spirit. Alright, friends. Let's keep moving. <laughs> Let's just kind of keep the pressure up. If anybody wants to come and interrupt us as we're doing so, then uh, that's great. I would have uh, absolutely no problems with that. That sounds fantastic. Particularly now that we have this guy enhancing all of our damage output very significantly. Although it seems to me there's like there's a there's a whole different situation down there. Oh my. Okay. Wait. Wait, what are you doing? Do you have summons? Wait, where did this Chen go? This Chen has summons? Yes, please. <laughs> Alright. So we're just gonna kind of push down this tower, I guess. I don't know where everybody is, but I got a Helm of the Overlord, so that's good. We can get ourselves uh, an ancient creep if we want to. I'm not even sure if I prefer that over my little troll, but it dies anyway as I get the Helm of the Overlord. So, that's just how it's gonna be, I guess. Alright, we got our skelet skeletons kind of roaming around. What do we want to get? Trusty shovel. Seems good. Um, buff our skeletons. Yep, that sounds fantastic. And then uh, we can just kind of go from here. Just kind of, kind of keep upgrading. Maybe go down here? Ooh. Do you think they're going to be ready for me? No, they have no idea what's coming. <laughs> oh, no. No, they are ready. Oh, God. Okay. Maybe? Oh, they are so ready. That's not good. Oh, oh, dear. All right. My little friends doesn't have a long cooldown, so we've got that going for us. But I am also just kind of like mildly dying. And when I say mildly dying, I mean very much dying. I'm just dying. Alright, we'll go ahead and apply this and then Lil friends you. And I I don't know, is it enough? Maybe? 
It is! Nice! I mean, we had a lot of units there to make that one happen, but we got him. Sick. If you don't... Ow, 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 no, ow, god damn it! Please leave a rating on the video. <laughs> that one didn't work the way I wanted it to. I'm gonna go get the cat again. I do have to get myself an ancient creep, though. I mean, that's the whole point of the Helm of the Overlord, right? Yeah. Oh, we got another friend. <laughs> we got ourselves yet again another little friend. Alright, let's get in the Soul Cross. Let's get in the Soul Cross and pick up the uh, uh, ancient creep while we're on the way. I'll just kind of come in here. This guy? I guess. I don't know. It's not an exciting one, is it? But I suppose we'll take it. We don't exactly have a lot of choice here. And they are all wolves. Which I guess we can summon these guys too. Alright, there's a situation. I've got the gang. We're coming. And... Oh, no! <laughs> wait, but we can, just, we can just kill that. That's fine. Oh god, okay, wait. This guy has an ability, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go get him, friend. Beat him up? Nice. Honestly, it turns out just just having some good auras is kind of enough. Do we do we even need anything else? <laughs> just make our team more powerful. Hang out with pack leader aura. I mean, let's be honest. Like, a hero that was literally just pack leader aura and swiftness aura would probably have been a more impactful, like, tournament hero than Ricky for the entirety of, of his existence. So... Y you know? We're doing okay. Some some skeletons, buddy. There you go. And I think we'll... Grab ourselves some of these here. Gambling on. And uh, extra skeleton attack damage. That seems great. Hand of Midas here. Skeletons are just kind of going nuts. That's good. That's what we like to see. And I'm still hoping to maybe find a black dragon. Is black dragon the best one? Is there one of the... Is there an ancient creep that has like an aggressive aura? The uh, lizard, right? Doesn't the lizard have some sort of like offensive effect? This just increases HP, which isn't terrible, but it's... Oh, hello. Um, did you just punch one of my, <laughs> my skeletons? <laughs> hey, let's go. I think he forgot to activate Fleshy. Let's grab ourselves some boots of travel. Although one of the problems we do kind of have here is we're not very good at actually just, you know, changing lanes. We are sort of stuck wherever we are going because that's where we're just going to get the the most uh, long-term value because of our summons and so on. Ooh, there's probably not much I can do to help you if I'm completely honest. Got a soul cross though. We have our helm of the overlord. Is there anything I'm missing? Any other aura we could get? I mean, I guess we could get like a Shiva scarred, which wouldn't be too bad, just to you know, like make our opponent's life just a tad bit more difficult, even. But I think right now, let's let's get ourselves the Aghanim shard as quickly as we can, so we can continue to apply map pressure. <laughs> What's going on up here? What are they fighting? Those are Chen creeps? Those are Chen creeps, right? Huh. Okay. Those are not regular lane cre uh, jungle creeps. I was a little confused at first. We could also get one of these guys. Yes. You know, and when, when they die, they give us a buff. Which could be kind of nice. Better all the time. Drums. Oh, drums are good. Oh, maybe I should have gotten boots of bearing. Oh, we can still do it. Fuck it. Two boots. You can't stop me. You're not my mom. <laughs> we'll just we'll just we'll just play with two boots. 
It's fine. We got four. Sh I, not not really. Uh, we got four feet. Hoofs. We got four hoofs. I'm not really sure if that's a good argument, but we're gonna go with it. All right, let's come up here. Pretty sure double boots was met at some point. The way I remember it, there was uh, like there were certain heroes where getting two boots or even three boots wasn't actually that bad because back then uh, there was just like less money available, and turns out that just kind of having some boots is not the worst thing you can do with your money. But it wasn't ever good. It was more just like surprisingly good. You know what I mean? Like better than it probably should be, but not like good, good. All right, uh, I don't have any anything. <laughs> I guess that about sums it up. I don't have anything, anything. I don't have anything at all. Uh, I'm just gonna. I'm, I'm dying, which is bad. I'm dying to myself actually, which is a little depressing. Can you can you go away? Thank you. All right, double boots. So there's a situation. Take these guys down. I don't have any skeletons right now. This is why we need the skeleton spawn talents. Right? Because that way we always have a certain number of them ready. Which makes a huge difference. Right now, don't have that. Right now I just need to kind of actually go kill stuff. Although, let's get ourselves the Aghanim Shard. That will make it so that we're passively spawning wolves in all of the lanes. And that seems good. That just seems really useful. So, I would like to have that. Alright, we got ourselves plus six minimum skeletons spawned. Huge. Big money. Very excited. Ooh, hello. We don't really have a lot of damage right now. <laughs> Alright, let's bring in the gang, maybe. Maybe maybe the gang can help out a little bit. Oh no. Okay, so this isn't this isn't really working, I think. Oh god. It's getting worse by the second. Alright, go go for her, I guess. Okay. Oh no! No! Run! It's a main! Nimbly I go. And just literally invoke her. Just literally just invoke her. Okay, well we're still alive. I is that dude just playing Invoker? Is the Invoker just playing Invoker in Legends of Dota? <laughs> oh man, that would be kind of funny. Just like literally picking the hero. No alterations, no modifications. I just wanted to play a game of Invoker, you know? I wonder what the Invoker's build is. This guy is uh, all kinds of trapping away stuff. Wait, this is just Crystal Main? No, that's not just Crystal Main. Wait, which one of these is real? This one down there. I gotta see what she's got. Like, I'm not gonna accept that, that somebody's literally just playing the original hero. No, no, no. She's got a cold embrace and ice armor. So she's got some, uh, some frost stuff, which is cool. Oh, this is just a single target buff. Well, it's not as exciting as I was hoping for. Alright, summon the gang, summon more of the gang, hope that the gang can do anything. Alright, maybe the gang should go for this guy instead. Oh no. Oh wow, that's some cost range, isn't it? Oh no! <laughs> I need some HP, I think. Octarine core seems good. And we are relying entirely on little friends anyway. And uh, with Octarine Core, we do just kind of, you know, make sure we have it ready more often. All right, there's some summons. Wow, they're doing a lot of, a lot of building damage right here. The Meepos. What are you doing? Tempest Double, Divided We Stand, Phantasm, Disruption, Conjure Image, Mirror Image. That's sure some illusions. That sure are some illusions right there. 
Well, the nice thing is I do have my walls there, just kind of like running down lanes, just, just yes. doing stuff, right? I think that's something we can be happy with. Enchanting. All right, we'll come in over here. Tier 2 item. Um, Philosopher's Stone, maybe? I mean, to be honest, I don't really need to do attack damage myself. Yeah. That's not what we're here for, anyway. I feel like if I build for attack damage on my hero, while that might be more effective, it's also just kind of going against the spirit of this whole thing. So I don't want to do that. I feel like it's going to be more, more fun if instead... We just rely on our summons. Although opponents do have a lot of AoE, which is uh, a problem. <laughs> but uh, that's just that's just going to be a problem, I guess. Yep. No, I think that's just going to be a problem. Oh, nothing here. Well, the skeletons are going to go wherever they're going to go. We can't really stop them anyway. And uh, the good news is that our opponents are actually getting pressured. Like you can see, they're pretty much never able to leave their base properly. I mean, partially because my team is actively pushing down the mid. Maybe we should go help. Alright. Wow, we summoned so many skeletons. That's great. Love myself some skeletons. Alright, you guys come over here. Little friends. Penitence. Uh, we'll see if it's enough. Nice. Let's go. All right. We got one of them. We got one. We can summon some wolves. We've got little friends ready again. And of Midas here. All right. Little friends. Oh, my God. I guess the damage elbow can be pretty sick. Oh my... No, where's the tombstone? We gotta do... We gotta do something about this tombstone. This is too many... Too many summons. Oh, hello! Oh. <laughs> Get him, everybody! We're not doing any damage! <laughs> oh, come on! Damage block is such bullshit. Alright, there's an enchantress. Nice. I'm just kind of throwing out penitent. It's not penitence, it's just kind of a neat ability that does a good good amount of work by itself. Okay, uh, summon some more of these guys. Little friends! Yes! Let's go get them, skeletons! Oh, yeah! <laughs> not quite enough by itself, but we had some help. Alright, so we're now summoning 80% more skeletons. Which is really just... I think that that's a good amount. I don't know how many skeletons I want, but 80% more? Yeah, no, that's definitely that's definitely getting there. Alright, let's see how many we get. Eh, honestly, that didn't look like 80% more. Maybe it doesn't work. <laughs> well, we're gonna die here. Yeah, there's not much we can do. I mean, I guess I could have used the Boots of Bearing, but, like, let's be honest. They they weren't that kill. They got us. We did get two lanes of barracks, so I'm not so worried about it. Got a bunch of money. Um, now, here's a, here's a question for the class. Do we need two pairs of boots? <laughs> Probably can get rid of one of those, right? We can we can probably get rid of one of the pairs of boots. That seems fair. I'm not sure what to buy though. Uh, I kind of want to get like just like an Ioscardi or something, or maybe a, maybe we go with tanky. Like, what if we go like a pipe and a heart? Solar crest. Ooh, that's nice. Oh, that can actually be pretty sick. But I don't know, like. That sounds an awful lot like we are doing stuff. No, that's. I think that's okay. Solar Crest is okay. We can also get like a. We can get like a. What's it called? A Bloodthorn? Is there really just like one item in Bloodthorn? 
in Blood Phone's recipe that needs to be bought from the secret shop. That is so petty, Bell. Alright, how many how many skeletons? I think that was just eight. I think my 80% talent doesn't work. That's very disappointing. Alright, come on, friends. We can do this. <laughs> we cannot do this. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Come on! We can do this! Alright. This is not... Is this is this getting anywhere? I'm just... I'm, I don't think... I don't know. Alright, it's fine. Don't worry about it. There is a chance that the 80% talent only applies to, like, the maximum charges. So if I have a lot of skeletons that I'm summoning, like actually summoning, instead of just relying on the six uh, baseline skeletons, maybe then it does actually add those. Like, it, it does multiply that. That could be possible. Hi, right, Meepo is still pushing here. I'm just gonna... I just realized I don't have TP boots anymore. See, that's 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 why we need more, more boots. Now, I see that's a problem right there. Okay. Uh, how many is that? That looks like 12 to me. Wait, are we still fighting this guy? Oh, God. Alright, come on. Really? None of us do any damage? Okay, it's fine. I'm just, I'm gonna go somewhere else. This is not going well. Okay. This is so rude. <laughs> nice zoo, buddy. <laughs> Thanks for the dragon. Can't you just break him? Well, yeah, but that would be me doing it, not my summons. Oh my god, so many bow responses. Oh god, yeah. This is just, this is just a lot, right? It's mostly just flesh heap, is that right? It's like alternating between flesh heap and crimson guard? Also just being obscenely tanky, I guess, is doing the trick. Grow. Yeah. Alright. Uh, we do only need one more of these lanes. Get the creep that breaks. There's a creep that breaks? I mean, there isn't really anything to break. The Tusk isn't that tanky because he's got any, like, particularly overpowering passives, right? Like, there's nothing here that actually makes Tusk all that tanky other than fleshy. We can't break Grow. Flesh Heap is an active, so we can't break that either. He's just a big boy. He's just... He's just a big boy. <laughs> That's it. Unfortunately, that is something we'll have to... Uh, we'll just have to kind of accept the feat against, I think. Alright, we got ourselves uh, a couple of dudes coming in here. Man, I sure would have been nice to get these last hits. All right. Yes. It's coming over here. Nope. Do I do enough? No. Right. Okay. Never mind. Enchanting. Hello. Nope. I'm up in the air. Oh, yeah. I'm kind of stuck. I guess I'll summon some stuff. Ah, uh, there I go. It's hard to see what's going on exactly. The tombstone combined with all of the illusions from both sides. Tricky. But you know what? Even if we lose here, I'm pretty happy. This was never going to be a good build, but it certainly was a funny build. And I think in that regard, we did well.
So. Won't be making that mistake twice. Hmm. I gotta get past this guy. Just gotta ignore him. Oh my god. Nice. Good blink, but like, what do I do now? Dude's gone, right? No, oh, that works. That's good, that's good. Well, I'm trying. Honestly, we just, uh, we don't, we don't do any damage. <laughs> can't, can't do shit. Just way too big a lad. Nobody in my team has damage. So? I don't like the accusatory tone we are, you're taking there. This is Legends of Dota. We don't take damage, we lose. Like honorable people. Yeah, I guess we run. Like honorable people. I don't know, talk to interact with our opponents. Like that undying just protects everything. Oh no. Yep, we're done. Yeah, I thought we could maybe sneak in behind, but uh, not gonna happen. Anyway, hey, Andy Run, thanks for the 61 months. Appreciate that very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How are y'all doing? You know, something I think is kind of nice right now is there's like a lot of positivity surrounding Dota, which is very enjoyable, I gotta say. Like, it's just kind of nice to, to like go to the Dota 2 subreddit and just see everybody be happy. And it's because of the recent, um, what's it called? The recent changes to the like toxicity in Dota. And you know what? This is something that uh, I, I talked about this before, but I'm glad that Valve has actually finally taken proper steps towards like combating toxicity in Dota. For a long time, I think people have had this attitude regarding toxicity in Dota, where it's just kind of like, well, it's just a part of the game, right? It's just a part of the game. There's nothing you can do about it. But I actually disagreed with that because I think Valve wasn't not just not doing anything about it. I think they were actively encouraging toxicity in Dota. Which is why Dota was such a toxic game. In part, of course, it's always going to be a little bit toxic. I don't think there's a way around that, unfortunately. Um, but Valve was actively encouraging it, right? Like a lot of the like voice lines and so on that they had added into the game over the years. Well, I'm, I understand why people enjoy them. Uh, there's also like no way to really use them in a non-toxic way, right? But now Valve went and they implemented some, like, I think some algorithmic AI shit. I don't know what exactly it is. But it's just really good at detecting toxicity. So people are, like, actively scared of being toxic because they get punished for it really, really quickly. And uh, with something like that, yeah, you're going to reduce it. And uh, from what I hear, from what I am reading, it has actually actively worked. And it's kind of interesting, right? So, like, maybe it, maybe it was just a matter of needing the right technology. All right? But, like, there is also just the fact that the Valve wasn't really discouraging toxicity. I, I do actually believe they were actively encouraging it because they could sell voice lines to be toxic to each other, right? Now, I get that it's just, like, people will argue it's just in good fun, but did it really feel like it was in good fun when your opponents were doing it to you? You know what I mean. Anyway, um, yeah, that's it for today. That was a bit of a fun build. Unfortunately, towards the end, we couldn't really do anything anymore. So our opponents just became way more powerful than us. Um, but we had some pretty nice moments anyway. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.